Welcome to the jungle here in Cincinnati for this afternoon's matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals. It's an exciting matchup as kickoff is just seconds away what looks to be a very even matchup. Oh, I think there's no doubt about it. It is an evenly matched game. And you know what I think that's going to happen here today? Which coach is going to pull the surprise onside kick, special teams, a trick play? That could be the difference. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Charles has got it on the handoff. And they get to him at the 45. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was. Gets it there and he moves those chains. Back to the ground. Five, maybe six out of that. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Now, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense might have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Jim picking up a couple first downs early in the game. It's Well, it's like when you play golf and you par the first couple holes. I know it doesn't happen a lot, but when you do, it makes you feel good. Phil, one of the big stories this year about the Chiefs is the new regime here with Andy Reid now, the head coach. Yeah, Jim, change is good sometimes. You know, Andy Reid in Philadelphia for so long, and it's like the town was tired of him. The players are not listening. Now he gets a fresh start in Kansas City, and Andy Reid's track record speaks for itself. He's a pretty good coach. Well, you're right when you talk about Reid. Tremendous track record there in Philadelphia. So many years in the playoffs, one time to the Super Bowl. Now he comes to Kansas City, brings in Alex Smith, and he's ready now to bring new life to this franchise. Yeah, and, uh, and they're starving for some victories out there in Kansas City. So I know the fan base, the organization, the players all got to be excited because Andy Reid is taking over. So that, that's a big thing for the team. So you got emotion on your side. Now just get that team organized a little bit. They do have some hidden talent. It should be a successful year for Andy Reid. Here's the first snap after the big play. And they'll run the football with Charles. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. That second down coming up. Looking across the middle, makes the grab. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. We'll take it right from the center. Third and four. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose. Incomplete pass. try yes sir well Jim that field goal puts them in the lead it was a nice drive by the offense and what it does it just gives you confidence you did some positive things on the field and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game he'll have a chance to take off and he's taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Goes deep. 
to A.J. Green, and they can't connect. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. That leads us to second down. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. He'll fire it out to the left. The Bengals now move the chains. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Flex round! Flex round! Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. They hand it off to the running back. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time, stopping the outside run for a little game. Interception. He stacked up at that point. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Midway through the first. Reggie Nelson makes the tackle. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. On second and three, it's handed to the running back. Gains nine. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Staying with the running game on first down. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. They're able to move the chains after that last run. That picks up about three. Hard to score touchdowns sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Second and goal from the seven. Back to the running back. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Well, this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. Let's go. The quarterback got the defense to commit, and it looks like it'll cost him five. Got to be able to take advantage of the quarterback sneak. If the defense doesn't line up properly, find the weak spot and go there to score. Flag is out. And the point after is good. Offside, defense. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. setting up the return gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24 Face first down as they go ground here, left side. Game of six. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run and the defense being too aggressive. 
They're over pursuing, so you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Escaping the pressure, breaks free. down here. Quarterback drops back, play action. Escaping the pressure, brings it in. They tackle him for a loss. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. They bring in the extra tight end. Falls on the ground. A recovery by the defense. Breaks free, going to take it the distance. Touchdown! What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long? Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. Offside, defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. And welcome back as we're about to get underway here in this one. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. It's a two tight end formation. Johnson's back in shotgun formation. Airing it out. The catch is made in the secondary. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Goes deep to A.J. Green, and they can't connect. Oh, they went for the big play that time, but just couldn't connect. I love it. I love it when offenses and quarterbacks throw the football down the field. Big plays went in the NFL. I'm, you know, Jim, i got to be honest. I'm sick of seeing all this dinking and dunking. Let's look for some big plays and chuck it down there. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Looking long. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. On the way, third down. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. First and ten. And they sack the quarterback. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, the blitz, it was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. Second down and 10. On the run. Touchdown, Cincinnati Bengals. I don't think the quarterback had any notion that he was going to run with the football. Look, he breaks the pocket. He's looking to throw the football down the field, but nobody's looking. They force him to run, and then he shows his talent, makes it happen, and scores a touchdown. Looks around. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back.
The receiving team has the recovery. Line up in the pistol offense. Jamal Charles got a little crease. Picks up nine. The off tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Second and one, Jamal Charles carries the football. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. down and they'll give it to Jamal Charles Ray Maualuga in on that last tackle nice job that time by the ball carrier getting it just past the first down mark big first down keep the chains moving Jamal Charles is in the backfield First and ten, leading on that running attack again here on first down. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Sano's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Second down now. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, almost caught. Well, the quarterback's hurried on the play, and he throws an incompletion. The QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The offensive line just has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. Smith will take it right from the center. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. The kick is good. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. He will run this one back. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Now in first down, to the ground here. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Looking to go deep. 
incomplete, almost going in the other direction. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and 12. Going across the middle, the Bengals get a first down. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Gets away from the pressure. And he's taken down. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. They don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Second down coming up. Throws the pass. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. Failing to connect there, third down. The wide receiver in motion. Running back gets it on the handoff. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Quarters formation here for the defense. Intercepted. Nice tackle. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. will take it right from the center. Looking to the right side and throwing. He didn't look it in. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. down coming up that catch gives them a first down the quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs and lining up for a 44 yard field goal and the kick is good for three you got to take advantage of good field position the offense doesn't do it that time I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick, but still a letdown for the offense. We're back here now in this one where the Chiefs are leading by 17. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Offense lines up here. First and ten. They run the counter play. When you have a defense, it's not playing good techniques. They're selling out. Overplaying plays where you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Second and three. And that's a big time tackle. That keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. To that last carry. It's third and three. 
They're setting up screen. So a three and out. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. Offense Ohio, lines up Ohio. here. Let's go. Ohio. 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 Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Running back in motion here. Flex round. Flex round. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunately for them, they got it that time. They've got a first down now after that catch. Johnson's going to take it from the gun. And it's incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Second down here. He's scrambling now. Challenging the defenders to the right side. It's third down coming up. Johnson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's got a wide open alley. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. First down here. Johnson standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Down the field. Very nearly intercepted. It's nice to have a good arm and throw the football down the field like this. But that time, that was terrible. Just overthrew the open receiver. Ohio. And here we have second down. Throw it over the middle. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Third down now. Wide open for the catch. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. That is play number 10 on this drive. He has the grab. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra of every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Way through the third quarter, middle, and it's Derek Johnson who makes the play. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Going to take off with it. And he's thrown to the ground. Nice job that time, but the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. Third and 17. He's looking to the right here on this throw, and he's intercepted. 
had a touchback. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. The Chiefs at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. He's going to the left. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Split backfield here. Charles is taking the handoff. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. The Chiefs come out in the pistol. First and ten, another carry here. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Let's split that field here. Second and eight, throws to the right. Has the reception all alone. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Welcome back. Not quite as riveting as many expected coming into this one. First down here after the completion. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Jamal Charles is in the backfield, looking at a takeaway. Right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. He's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Eric Berry makes the tackle. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know when a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way and then they cut it back. There's usually a great running lane there. What's a defensive back to do? There's really nothing he can do. The back shoulder fade throw, perfect by the quarterback, another completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Looking for an open receiver on the right. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Oh, it's a terrible job by the defense. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, 
even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. And a goal from the four. Intercepted. Sent it to the 20 yard line. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20 yard line. Smith will take it right from the center. First and ten, and they'll run the football with Charles. That brings the play to an end. That's where you need the big size on your defense. You need it inside. In other words, you need big defensive linemen that can cover the center and the guards to stop these runs right up the middle. Jamal Charles, and it's Reggie Nelson in on that last play. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Second and seven, Jamal Charles carries the football. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Complete, going to lose yards here. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time, nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. They're set to punt it away now. Ball is out. Slips past one player. Good piece of tackling. That returner, when he goes to the sideline, I promise you that special teams coach is going to rip him a new one. Hold on to the football. Lucky to get it back after that fumble. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Could have been intercepted. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Second down and ten. Going across the middle. Perfectly thrown. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Navarro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. In trouble now. He's in the clear. And he's out of bounds. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Getting away from the pressure. Got a big lane. Quarterback giving himself up. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First down, following the long play. Scrambling. The ball is jarred loose. And the defense has it. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. down offense readying for the snap looking to the right side and throwing it's incomplete the defender had it for a moment but could not pick it off cleanly the 
Chiefs line up, split backfield. Alex Smith's going to take it from the shotgun. Incomplete. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Fasano's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Throws the pass. Under fire on that throw. <laughs> Dustin Colquitt looks ready to boot this one away. First down coming up. And he was wide open. Two minute warning. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Ohio! 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 That reception Ohio! gave them the first down. Black round! Black round! Black round! From the gun. Gets away from the pressure. Gain of four. Black round! He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Third and goal at the four. They'll go ground. To the right side, looking for room. Oh, wow, another couple inches, and that would have been six points for the offense, but he just falls short. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Touchdown. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this, they have to make the call on fourth and go. He goes for it, and they get it. up now for the two-point conversion how much does this thing they get the touchdown but still they fail to get the two Jim I think it takes a lot away from the football team it was a terrible decision now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Harlem they're not going to risk the big return so here's the squid kick breaks out of that one are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. That juke gets him some space. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Split backfield here. Alex Smith from the gun, trying to work that left side. In zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. That touchdown might just wrap it up. Yeah, it sure will, Jim. It's been an exciting game all day, and it, uh, to score late in the game like this, to put it away, it's time to celebrate a little on the sideline. Chiefs getting set for kickoff.
and he begins his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First and 10. And he's forced to the ground. The Bengals signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. That ball has been picked off. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Charles is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The reception, easy, wide open. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The pass complete. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course it'd be a touchdown. This will be second down. And he's in! If the defense is not gonna play for the quarterback sneak, then make them pay for it. Take advantage of it. That's what the offense did. The quarterback took advantage. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. a dangerous returner and he'll have a chance to show you right here and he's tackled right at about the 28 yard line Ohio 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 Gresham's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot Challenging the defenders to the right side. Tackle down right around the 47. Well, here's the cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing routes. Setting up in the pistol on this play from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. He had no time to get set. up in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Goes deep to A.J. Green, but they can't connect. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Goes deep to A.J. Green, and they can't connect. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Trying to fight. Ball was out. The offense was able to recover the ball. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. 
NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it, he didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. This will be the final snap. First and ten. Good fake. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. This game's come to an end. Phil, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, Gino, Tim, let's look at